without a shadow of a doubt. It's the hottest show on social media. And I want to welcome you to the war zone. I'm your host, the five star general. Let's go. I'm live in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Say, man, it's real down here, man. I'm getting ready to go in. Let's talk about it. Say, man, I want to say top of the morning to all of y'all. How you doing, man? I appreciate you guys tuning in. I miss I miss my co-host, Demetri K and Donovan Sadiq. You know, normally we we do this together, but they holding it down on their end, and I'm um, holding it down on mine. Um, <clears throat> man, it's about eight sixteen same time as it is in Houston Central Standard Time. And I'm up. I uh, had to do an interview this morning with Fox Twenty Six in Houston, one of my favorite stations that I work with. And don't mind being quote unquote an unpaid correspondent. And uh, but today I'm gonna go into the belly of the beast. I'm gonna go <laughs> where I gotta go today. Um, the the hardest thing for me is I'm not from here, so I gotta kind of find you know find you know things on my own and. And I'm cool with that, but I'm going to go in the belly of the beast today. I'm, I'm going to fight the tear gas today. I'm, I'm going to deal with whatever I got to deal with. I want to remind y'all, if you're in Houston tomorrow morning at McGregor Park, um, the Yates alumni are going to have a, a walk and a parade to celebrate Floyd. They're going to start, I think they start at 9. And I'm encouraging all of y'all Houstonians to support them, to support them. Then you'll understand, you'll get a glimpse of, you know, what it's like to be a Yates Lion. I love my Yates Lions, but today I'm going to rep them Philly, we, Phyllis Wheatley Wildcats. I'm going to put my Phyllis Wheatley gear on today and, uh, and, 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 and give them a little history. Because as I'm out here, you know, they're asking who is Yates. And then when they ask about Yates, a lot of people like, well, we heard about Wheatley. So, you know, I'm going to rep the purple and white today, man. I'm going to put the purple and white on, and I'm going to go and rep uh, Philly Wheatley's, Phyllis Wheatley Wildcats. Uh, make sure today that they have a, 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 a protest, not a protest, but a, but a gathering at uh, Discovery Green at 2 o'clock. And, uh, you know, if you can support that, uh, then so be it. I don't know the details, Janelle of when they're bringing Floyd home. I know they are, um, but they're going to do something here too. Um, so, you know, I'm going into the belly of the beast today, man, and and I'm going to rep it like I need to rep it, man. I'm not here to get no no friends and no likes. And I see, and, and I appreciate some of y'all, uh, you know, defending me, you know, uh, on Facebook because people got nasty comments to make. Man, I don't care nothing about them nasty comments. I want you to understand that I've been on the phone back and forth with the Houston Police Department um, the whole time I've been gone because contrary to popular opinion, I work with HPD almost daily with Dr. Muhammad, Reginald Gordon, Derek Muhammad, and we we do things that you guys don't have a clue that we do. Uh, you know, some of them things is is we mentor gang members and we deal with the the, the youth in the street. And the reason that a lot of stuff does not happen in Houston and you may just be thinking it's because they, they scary or whatever. No, it's because of the work that we do behind the scenes. That's why when 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 a top top brass of HPD is on my phone yesterday, man, you need to hurry up and get your behind back home because they know something about the pop. So all you people with them nasty comments, be careful. Because remember, I don't have to do what I have to do. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do anything. I can be like you and stay in my house. 
I make it possible that you ignorant folk out there making them nasty comments. A lot of days I make it possible for you to come out the house and not have to deal with what you see and happening out here some days. So be careful how you run your mouth because some days I just shut down. I don't have to do this shit. Let's get that straight. But today I'm gonna go into the belly of the beast, man. I'm, I'm gonna go fight me a little tear gas and 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 get out here with my people. You know, I'm gonna tell you something, man. I lived in the suburbs and you know, woke up one morning and put a for sale sign in my yard because I felt I couldn't represent my community if I wasn't in my community. And I chose to go back where I grew up at and help my people every day. That's what I chose to do. I want to thank all these good people that's making it possible for me to stay up here as long as I need to. You guys like stay up here. And, and that goes for everybody that may have sent $50, $60. And that goes for the people that sent $1. I got mad love for you, man. Because every penny count, you know, these rental cars and these hotels, this, this stuff is not cheap. And, you know, when you're trying to get up in here, Right now, they they gonna put the tax on you, man. Uh, you know, and, and and that's a good thing. Uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hit a few spots, um, but I'm really trying to get into the belly of the beast, just so I can get you some real footage. Because what you're not getting, let's get this straight, you're not getting the real stuff with the news i'm sorry but you're not getting it so you have to depend on us the ones that are on the ground you know being able to film the way that we're filming to get you the real footage the real stories you know and and i'm right now while i'm out here i'm talking to real people that knew floyd that that knew he was a great person tomorrow i get to go to a balloon release at his old job with with with, with a young man i i <laughs> knew him as a baby in 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 third ward that happened to be out here with floyd one of his best friends i'm gonna go to that tomorrow and um uh, all i'm doing is trying to 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 do my part you know i'm gonna tell y'all something man and people don't realize it that when i've said it before when i jumped off the plane i had two federal agents in my face so y'all out there that's running your mouth you don't have a clue who i am you could never walk a day in my shoes. And I respect the ones that respect me. So if you on my page and you making them comments and and all that there, I mean, all I'm gonna do is delete you. And you can go to somebody else's page and try to keep up with this. But in the meantime, keep it respectful and, and do what you need to do. So I appreciate every last one of these people that <clears throat> donated money to, to put your hood reporter in the middle of this because that's what I am, man. Uh, let me read Ramona Cole's comment. Um, I applaud you listening to that Trump like saying kill them niggas. I applaud the white mayor also. God bless George. I applaud the white mayor. I mean, I applaud the mayor. It doesn't matter what color he is to me. I applaud the mayor because he made the, uh, the right decision uh people are asking me about cash apps uh my cash app is dollar sign g-e-r-r-y-m-o-n-r-o-e i have cash app but i also have zale so all you need to do if you want to zail me something uh you need my phone number and my phone number is 832-591-9681 hold on a second 832-591 nine six eight one i'm putting this up here for y'all and um uh, if you want to send something then, then send it um uh, i have people monitoring my page that if i'm busy they'll they'll tell you thank you if you sent something don't think i'm ignoring you um uh, it's just when i'm when i'm out there man i'm I'm old school and i'm i'm from third war so i gotta keep my head on the swivel man you see what i'm saying and um uh, you never know when something gonna pop off. So, uh, Paula, you can send you can send our uh, cash app. That's fine, and unless cash app crashes again, because it crashed yesterday for everybody in the country. Um, 
you know, um, hold on, I'm trying to pin this real quick. Okay, there we go. There you go. <clears throat> you can send in either one, doesn't matter to me. Um, the hardest thing, y'all, is trying to find something to eat with the pandemic and now with all this, a lot of things have closed down more than what you would expect. Um, it's crazy. So just keep your eyes on Carlos Johnson. She's helping me. Larry McKenzie is helping me. You know, uh, they'll put the information up if I forget and they'll tell you thank you also if I forget because when I'm out there, like I'm saying, I got to keep my head on a swivel, man. And, it, and I'm starting to see more and more people from Houston starting to show up. There are people from all over the country that are here now, that are coming in. Um, it's what it is. These people need support, man. So, you know, a lot of people were hitting me, asking me, and, and I just woke up. A lot of people hit me, asking me about uh, what Trump says. As I tell y'all every day, Trump is living in a reality show. And Trump can send in whoever he wants to send in. They can do whatever they want. These youngsters are strategic, man. They're strategic, man. They're, they're moving around. You're only seeing what they're showing you. They're in four or five different spots. Where I was yesterday, what no cops? They ain't have enough. And if they got loose over there, what were they going to do? You got 75 police officers protecting that man's house that killed George. You feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, they, they are really stretched out on police officers. Uh, Hold on, let me let me put it in here. And I can't pin it in here, but you know, just bear with me. Because I'm on my stream yard. So today I'm not gonna get an early start. I'm I'm not getting out until maybe about 12 because I want to be out later tonight. And in the process, remember I'm in college, so I got homework to do this morning. Gotta take care of my business in the classroom. And for those that didn't know. A uh, classroom full of kids challenged me at Yates High School, um, and and I went back to college, and and I'm almost through with my associate's degree. I got this semester, um, this summer semester, and the fall semester, and I get my associate's degree in criminal justice. Eventually, I want to go to law school and open me up a law firm, and I want this law firm to be for people that don't have a lot of money, but they need top-notch representation so i have homework to do this morning and i'm gonna do my homework and i'm gonna make sure i'm ahead of the game and um <clears throat> and then i'm gonna get out there and you know once i get out there i'm gonna get me some need i found a spot to eat i'm gonna get out there and give me something to eat and then i'm gonna get into the belly of the beast make sure i got my mask on and uh it is what it is uh french creole and i don't have straight a's but I am rocking a 3.7 GPA. So, you know, when I see the kids or, you know, able to talk to them, I always remind them if an old man can be on the dean's list in college, then I need you on the honor roll at, the, at, the, at this black school when they say you can't get it done. Um, don't worry about what Trump says. You, I need you guys to pray for these people. Uh, I want you guys to pray for these people because they are going through it. They're hurt, they're traumatized. This has been going on. The George is just the first time y'all have heard about it. This has happened in 30 years, 400 times. 400 times this has happened in, in, in this community. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be with Tutu tomorrow uh, to rate. I'm going to be with him tomorrow, man. Tutu called me as soon as I got off the plane. And I'm going to be with Tutu tomorrow. And, and we're going to have a good time. And we're going we're gonna to celebrate George, man. Um, I appreciate all the congrats and all that. But, man, let, let's, get, let's get across the stage first. And, um, and, and, and let me get through with this because I got to make it back to Houston. Now, if you're in Houston. I'm not, I'm never going to hide anything from you, but I am going to say that the Houston Police Department needs me back in Houston. They calling me every day because they know. 
Let me tell you something, man. You don't get to do what you want to do to somebody in third ward, Texas. And think that them boys going to keep quiet because that's not. You feel what I'm saying? That's not. It's not going to work. So, you know, they need me back there to make sure um, that things don't pop. And for all those that's running their mouth, thank me. Get on your knees and thank me. With your nasty comments, thank me. Thank my team that works directly with the police department and the sheriff's department to keep these youngsters at bay so that you can walk around and do what you do every day. I'm in a very positive mood, man. Um, you know, I've been I've been sick for a while, but I mean, I can handle it. So those that are concerned, I am drinking my water. Wake up drinking my water, um, taking my meds and I'm good. I mean, I tell you, you just got to you got to stay with your head on the, on a the swivel, man, because you at ground zero everywhere you go. You at ground zero. You never know what's going to pop. And uh, you just got to you got to you got to be smart about what you're doing. But I will say this here, that the natives of Minneapolis have shown me nothing but love. And it is what it is. Shaniqua Shaw, I love your comment. Um, let me let me put that up. So, how do you feel about T.I. calling for a blackout on June seventh? A blackout on June seventh does not work if it's not going to be consistent. If not, if everybody not going to do it, it's not going to work. But it it needs to be more. June seventh needs to be the day that we shut down economically. It will stop everything if we shut down economically. Let me let me let me see something. Heather Ruth Seymour. Now I don't know if y'all can see this comment. Uh says that I promote hate. No, your people promote hate. Your people have been promoting hate for 400 years. And you know why you say I promote hate? Because you can't call me a racist until I start pointing out racism. Let's get that straight. Your people have been perpetuating hate for 400 years on some people that didn't ask to come here. We didn't ask to come here. You, you had already came here and stole this from the Indians and the pilgrims. You remember that little boat ride y'all took, Christopher Columbus, where he got lost? And he ended up in America. You discovered America. You can't discover something that was already inhabited. Let's get that straight, first of all. You feel what I'm saying? Let's get that straight, first of all. You can't discover something that was already inhabited. But you've been perpetuating hate against us for 400 years. And now your privileged ass sits there. And you are good with everything that's going on. You, you're so worried about me being here, not bothering anybody that you would make a statement about me perpetuating hate when all I'm doing down here trying to keep them calm. Sit your privilege behind down. You feel what I'm saying? Sit your privileged ass down. Because I'm going to say this, especially for the ones that, that, that don't understand it. <laughs> White folk that's got an attitude. White folk that's talking fly by the mouth don't look like you can handle them black folk right now. It's going to take some black folk to calm down some black folk. What you don't want to do is lose your comrades right now. Don't let your mouth overload your ass because we don't have to do nothing but sit back and watch them peel your cap. You understand what I'm saying? Be careful what you say, man. Be careful what you say, because you're not ready. You, you, you ain't ready for nothing that's going on. That's why you see what's happening. You were never prepared. You and all your smart people and all your resources, if you were prepared, this would not be going on. So right now, I don't even think the black people are the ignorant people in this situation. 
It is a white district attorney who is allowing this community to be torn up. And that's what it is. It is a white district attorney that's allowing this great city to be torn up. So get on the phone with your sheet wearing partner and tell him by the time the smoke clear, yeah, we gonna have them got a few of them, but they gonna end up getting a few of us. Man, shut your mouth, man. I ain't worrying about what these people say, man. Go tell your wife, your sheep wearing partner down there in the DA office that he the one got this going on. Because if Mike Freeman would have charged them people from the gate, this wouldn't be happening. But see, you don't even have enough respect to understand that once again, you've shown us that all George was, was a nigga to Mike Freeman. But I tell you what, you couldn't handle these niggas if you had the National Guard. Look like you can handle them right now. And the good thing, I love it because this is a diverse fight. They got black people out there pissed off. They got white people out there pissed off. Latino brothers pissed off. LGBTQ pissed off. Illegal immigrants pissed off. And the reason that they can't seem to, to get a grasp on it because there's too many of they people involved. If it was all black people in this fight, they'd have dropped napalm a long time ago. But you don't want any white casualties. See what I'm saying? We know the game. I'm woke. I know. I know. I'm woke. You can't just tell me anything. We know why they ain't going hard in the paint. Because they got y'all folk on the front line. They got y'all folk on the front line. That's why they ain't going hard in the paint. I'm, a, I'm, you know, I normally block on Vasquez, Shavasky. I don't want to block Heather. I want her ignorance to shine through. I want Heather's ignorance to shine through, whether she's a troll or not. Because even if you're a troll and your profile is fake, you still gotta look your ignorant ass and look at yourself in the fucking mirror every morning, and know that on your best day, you could never stand next to this king. I don't do trash, little mama, or dude, whatever you are. You trash. Right now ain't the time. It's gonna take black folk to calm these black folk down. And I want you to understand something. Y'all talk all this foolishness about Minister Farrakhan. If he walked through the belly of the beast right now amongst the tear gas, if he walked through amongst the flash bomb, if he walked through amongst the rubber bullets, black people would stop in a heartbeat. You don't even know who your leadership is. So shut your ass up for real and bow down to a king. Because I rocks with kings every day. My best friend, one of them, is the Southwest Regional Minister of the Nation of Islam, Dr. Abdul Halim Muhammad, who gets all his wisdom from the great Louis Farrakhan, who was taught by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Those lessons are what can save your privileged white life right now. Cause they ain't trying to hear nothing from nobody else. And they don't have to. They don't have to deal with Farrakhan. But they definitely ain't listening to Jesse Jackson. They definitely ain't listening to, to Al Sharpton. I don't want to hear that foolishness right now. 
Let me see what my good friend, I just seen him make a comment. No doubt about it, Dr. Dr. Muhammad, I'm on it. No, first of all, that's your Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put this post up for you because I, I wanna, I wanna get something straight. Because I don't, I don't want you to ever get it twisted about me and religion. I don't never want you to get it twisted about me and religion. Hold on, because I, I want, I want to get you straight, ever. Um, you made a comment about better get the hate out of your hearts. Our Lord could come anytime. I don't know where the hell he coming from. Your Lord has allowed my people to be beat up for 400 years. I don't read your slave manual. I don't read your Bible. I don't need your insight. <sighs> e, I'm doing a video. I'm going to call you back. I'm going to call you back. I'm doing a video. I don't, I don't read your slave manual. None of that. So if your Lord coming, hopefully he can save y'all. Uh -uh, I, I, no, don't, don't put that out there on me. I, I, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Our Lord is coming. Well, can he hurry up and get down here to Minneapolis? What, 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 what is he doing? Is, 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 is he hanging out with Moses? Is they parting the Red Sea today? What, what, what is he doing? Because right now they need something. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Look like the youngsters winning the war right now. So, you know, what, whatever you feel, it is what it is. Um, and I'm not, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody with their religion. I don't want to do that, but I, I want to let you know, do not come at me at the end of the day. Don't come at me about your Lord and none of that. And I totally agree with, with my man, Xavier Starks, who said we don't care about National Guard shooting. Police are already shooting us. White folks shooting us. We done being afraid. And he he he, he totally right. So you think that this, baby, we deal with this every day. We, we can't drive to the store unless it's something with, you, with, with your people. We got to go to the schools. You, you don't want to give us a quality education. We, we can't find a decent job. You're criminalizing our kids through your school system. You see what I'm saying? Now, don't, don't get on the defensive, little mama. This your comment right here. You attacking somebody you don't know. Attacking who? You jumped on my thread with your foolishness this morning when all I was doing was telling people what I had to do today. So, baby, please go somewhere with your privileged ass. And when you do go somewhere, I want you to do this for me. Not only have black people been traumatized, for 400 years, white folk need to repair themselves from 400 years of hate against a nationality of people that did nothing to them. You are privileged and you are a benefactor of my folks hanging from trees. You are privileged and you are a benefactor of 400 years of free labor. You're privileged and you're a benefactor of everything that will never make America great. And you notice I didn't put again on it because it ain't never been great. Everything about you people has been death and destruction. When you got off the boat with the Indians, you started killing them. And guess what? You say, I've been around a long time and I've seen blacks do nothing but hate. We have a fucking reason to hate your motherfucking ass. 
We have a reason to hate you. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna delete you now because you 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 are you're very delusional. Get the fuck on. That's what you do. Let me get back to what I was doing. My people, I'm here. And uh I'm I'm finna get ready to do my homework and then I'm gonna get out in the streets. And I'm going into the belly of the beast. You know, all you guys calling me and, and texting me, I, I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm a long way from home. I'm a long way from home, man. I'm a long way from home. And uh, I can't wait to get back and work with my people and, and – uh, Make sure that our community is good, but as you can see, all around the country is is hot right now. It's hot right now. And that that is a real template that that's going to Biden's people today, Tisha K. And you're welcome to do whatever you want to do with it. So when they said we couldn't come up with a black agenda, we didn't know what we want. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We keep telling y'all there's always been a black agenda, but you know, I'm I'm being careful. I'm I'm staying hydrated. I love my friends; they stay on me. And uh, hold on. I love when y'all do this, man. I love when y'all put all their business up there. <laughs> Um, but like I said, let me let me post some stuff for you real quick because a lot of people uh keep asking me, and I appreciate the help, man. That's my cash app, dollar sign Gary Monroe, G E R R Y M O N R O E, and my phone number is eight three two five nine one nine six eight one. Now, what I need all of you to do, this is what I really need you to do, because we can really get this stuff out there. I want you to go to my YouTube page. And my YouTube page is the War Zone with the Five Star General. Subscribe to my page. It's totally free. Go to YouTube and subscribe to my page, the War Zone with the Five Star General, because it is totally, totally free. All right. I need you to do that today, man. I need to get the, the viewership up. We've been doing great so far. So y'all kind of kick back. I'm going to get ready to start my homework and get ahead of the game. And then uh, it is what it is. So I'll keep you abreast of what's going on. But I got to do my homework this morning and, and knock this out the park. Uh, so I need you to subscribe to my YouTube page. The War Zone with the Five Star General. And if you want to donate to me to, to help me while I'm out here to stay out here as long as we can stay out here, you can donate to my cash app, dollar sign, G-E-R-R-Y-M-O-N-R-O-E. Or you can just um, use Zelle. Uh, and all you need is my phone number, 832-591-9681. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm gonna find out Eric Cooper. I think I'm gonna go there because I'm gonna go to both spots today. Uh, which I'm going into the belly of the beast, the hot stuff. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely go protest out here by this by this cop's house. No questions. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna ride with my people, man. Cause you know that the you know Big Floyd was was good people, man. And and this ain't gonna go. This ain't this ain't sitting well. You feel what I'm saying? This ain't sitting well. So I, I appreciate it. I know the good doctor been been, you know, he he keeps me covered in prayer. I know he do. All of y'all do. Uh all the people been praying. But I'm gonna be all right. Um, that's why I keep that camera hot when I'm out there. I gotta charge my phones and charge my backup battery. I don't even run out of out of out of battery when I'm out there, like talking about, because I, I make sure my backups are are, are good. Um so make sure that you uh you go to my uh my YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right. 
go describe subscribe to my youtube channel the war zone with the five star general and uh you can donate whatever you choose if you got a dollar 25 cent i don't care it, it'll add up you know at the end of the day it'll definitely add up so and i and i appreciate it because you you you're able to see the real you feel me you're able to see the real so y'all kick back let's knock this home work out and let's hit the streets running man i'll be live today on the thaddeus jones show on the thaddeus jones show at uh 1 30 p.m live from the field man the war zone tonight seven o'clock i'm going live from the field man and in h-town we gonna stand up for hours and where i'm from if you don't know nothing about it you finna understand it partner watch your mouth because i'm gonna tell you something i'm gonna have to come back to houston and save your ass too what it is i holler at y'all man see you later Vice President Andrea Jenkins, who has been a tremendous leader. Is the sound?